How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. Today I'm going to be building a snow globe inspired diorama featuring the giant spider and the razor crest from the second episode of the second season of The Mandalorian. I cut out some circles of pink XPS foam and I used some drywall filler and frosted them like a cake. I carved a hole in the bottom of the wooden base that came with the glass dome. This will be to house the battery which will power the lights. After the drywall filler was all dry, I sanded it down, and gave it a nice coat of glue and paint to protect it from the primer. To build the spider, I used an app called Forger. It runs on the iPad. It's a 3D sculpting app that basically works like physical clay, only digital. Before two weeks ago, I had never sculpted anything in digital it was really fun to see how intuitive this software was and how uh, so much of sculpting with clay translates over uh, to this digital format. It does organic things a lot better than mechanical. So for this spider, it was perfect. For the Razor Crest, I used a file that I found on Thingiverse made by Fine Engineer. He also goes by Rick Tamarov on Instagram. I got his permission before using this and I will link everything in the description. For the engines of the Razor Crest, I used two warm flickering tea light candles. I will also be using one of these as the power source. Right about now, the print was finishing up. So I pulled those off the printer. Turned out really nicely. And I rinsed and cured them. I printed the spider upside down so it would have a little bit more support for the legs. And once I had clipped off all of the supports, I cleaned up all the connection points. And I was really happy with how everything turned out. I used a pin vise to drill a pilot hole, and then I used the Dremel to widen the hole enough to fit the LEDs in. I switched to a smaller bit on the Dremel and carved a channel for the wiring. I positioned the ship on the base and began carving spot for it as well as adding some large chunks of ice that fell down from the roof when the razor crest fell through. I tested my circuit to make sure it was working and I soldered the LEDs together in parallel and added them to the ship. I added a few more little details before it was time to paint. When the spider was primed black, it looked just like a black widow, which was pretty scary. So I quickly added the colors to it to make it look a lot less scary. After the spider, I moved on to the ship. I painted the whole thing with a metallic silver spray paint, but this was pretty slippery, so I added a matte varnish before adding the other colors. Once the matte varnish was on there, the other colors stuck really nicely. I painted on all the little details 
like the pinstripes and the windows, and the rest of the ship was just different washes. If you're curious about those, I will list them all in the description. I wanted to have some nice contrast on the base, so I dry brushed it very lightly with some gray and white. And then I added some fake snow after I applied a spray on adhesive. To finish it up, I added a few more little details, including some little baby spiders that I printed off camera. Once those were in place, I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you have a great week. I will see you all next time.